All right. I'm working. I just wanted to make sure it was working. Well, anyway, a lot's been happening, or a lot has been happening um, yesterday and today. Yesterday, I went through to a number of different places. Right now, I'm watching Grey's Anatomy on the big screen. Yeah. I, um, Cass wants to uh, go outside, play with her new. Play with her new B-A-L-L. The books that I got yesterday from the library, um, if I can do it, if I can do it, put together my, my, my quarter library book haul before the end of April. Yes. Come here. Come here. Go get the ball. Go get your ball. I'm hoping to do that. Kevy, you'll want to know that I do. You'll be not. You'll be interested to know that I actually got that other book on my Kindle. I paid like $2 or $3 for it. Um, I can't remember what it was. So, so I'll put it on my side here. I feel like I'm a little lop, lopsided. There we go. So that one book of the real story, that private investigator. It was due back yesterday. So I'm like, oh, I'll just return it. Um, yeah. But the three books that I got yesterday, this is what Cass got. Isn't that cool? The moment I opened it up yesterday, ho, 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 yes, yes, emphatically yes. She just loved it. She just loved her ball. So the three books, without further ado, I was bad. All three of these books came off the revolver, revolving stand right in front of the library. So the first one is this one. Yes, the first one is Roxanne, I mean, Ro A Hunger by Roxanne Gay. Uh, it turns out that, we, that when a wrenching past is confronted with wisdom and bravery, the outcome can be compassion and enlightenment both for the reader who has lived through the kind of unimaginable pain and for the reader who knows nothing of it, Roxane Gay shows us how to be decent to ourselves and decent to, the, to one another. Hunger is an amazing achievement in more ways than I can account. And patch it. I'm kind of curious. I'm, I'm really curious of what it's all about. You know, you have it on the front cover. Look at that. You have it on the front cover of what hunger is. I mean, you think of food. You think of body issues. You know, a lot of us, including myself, have body issues. Whether we're, we're body uh, dysm dysmorphic, gender dysphoric, um... What we see in the mirror is not what we see in ourselves. There's a lot of different types of body issues that we all have. I myself, I have a problem. Well, I have gender dysphoria. And for the people that don't understand what gender dysphoria is, gender dysphoria happens to be you know, you have the idea and understanding that you were, you are born one sex where the doctor slaps you on the ass or doctor takes, takes you from your mother's womb, excuse me, takes you from your mother's womb and assigned you by what they see between your legs. And for a majority of us, it's either a vagina or a vulva, or it is a penis, one or the other. And sometimes it can be both, you know, for the intersexed people. So that's, that's one step of being gender dysphoric. Some people may not understand what it really means. Some people are very hateful, hatred and hate filled towards people like myself and the, pe the community that I belong to. What I say to you is that be thankful 
being very thankful that you don't have to go through this. That's what I'm going to say to that. No shade, no, no curse words, no this, no that, no, none of that. Because we're, we're a much more educated, enlightened, and insightful, harmonious, not harmonious yet, but harmonious class of people. <laughs> you little stinker. You little stinker. Yes. Um, you know, it, it amazes me. It amazes me how, how books, movies, media that you watch and see and enjoy bring to the forefront of you. Who you are, who and what you represent, and who and what you associate with. It amazes me. Um, to my recent subscribers, thank you. Thank you. Um, going forward with my live show on the weekends, I plan to read a good chapter in the book that I'm reading. I will be able to give you a more of a base of what the book is about, obviously, but going forward, that's what I'm going to do. And also, I want to play more piano, too. And as and the the further I get with my progression between piano playing, I will, I'll be playing there too, you know, heck. There are people on, on YouTube now that have playing events online. I wouldn't mind doing that myself. Eventually, you know, this is years down the road. I mean, I'm just starting my channel. I mean, I've had my channel for years, but I'm just starting my channel and becoming more comfortable with me. So anyway, yes, I got Roxanne. Um, Roxanne Gay's Hunger, you know, in here she says, uh, I ate and ate and ate in the hopes that if I made myself big, my body would be safe. Yeah. I buried the girl I had become. I had, be, I had been because she ran in all kinds of trouble. I, I tried to erase the memory from her, memory of her, but she still... But she is still there, somewhere. I was trapped in my own body. One I made but barely recognized or understood. I was miserable, but I was safe. I have a friend that I've been had over 20 years. I've had over 20 years, and she's a big girl. You know, she's tall. She's a big. She's a bigger girl, and I'm a bigger girl. And I told her, you know, you know, my doctor's on me because I'm well over 200 pounds. There's a lot of creature comforts in this world, a lot of creature comforts, and a lot of emotional occurrences happened in the past. Well, I would say two and a half years. First, my mother passed away in November of 19. I didn't know what I was going to do with myself. I really didn't. I didn't know how to be, how to live. I didn't know anything. I was lost. I was so damn numb. Nobody... Uh, will would un ever understand the grief 
the, uh, the, the bereavement time that you would go through. I, I still, to this day, I, you know, I cry, you know, I literally, I cry just to cry, you know, I do. And books, I, I imagine a book like this is really going to make me cry because, you know, my mother once upon a time told me that food is a drug and that's the truth. Food is a drug. But the thing about it, the the good and bad about bad things about food being a drug is it's it's legal. It's legal. I'm sorry, but it's you know if you go over your certain amount of calories in a day, if you become morbidly obese. What am I what am I really trying to say? Oh, come on, you be Well, go get this, right over there. What I'm really trying to say is that we all try to keep our creature comforts at, at bay. And this book seems like it's gonna be one of those types of books. The book, The Water Dancer, Panasi Coats. I'm here telling the story, and not from the grave, not yet, but, fr but from the here and now, peering back into another time, when we were cast and close to the earth, and close to a power that baffled the scholars and flummoxed the quality, a power like our music, like our dance, that the, they cannot get grasp because they cannot remember. Oh, they, they wrote a different one, a debut one. Um, between the world and me. Behave, behave. Sit down, behave. You already ate that other stuff. So, young Hiram Walker was born into a... Oh my god. Bondage. When his mother was pulled away, Hiram was robbed in a, a small memory of her. Was gifted with mysterious power. Sit. Good girl. <laughs> Years later, when Hiram almost drowns in a river that same power saves his life. This brush with death bursts an, an urgency in Hiram and a daring scheme to escape from the one, the one, the one, the only home he's ever known. So he begins an unexpected journey that takes Hiram from the corrupt grandeur of Virginia's proud plantations of desperate guerrilla cells in the wilderness from the coffin of the deep south to danger dangerously idealistic movements in the north even as he enlisted in the up, up underground war between slavers and the enslaved Hiram's resolve to rescue the family he left behind endures wow this is going to be a very interesting book between the world and me. Okay. Definitely. And the last book I wanted to introduce is Nine Perfect Strangers by Leanne Morte. That's pretty. I like that. I like the design. Could 10 days at a health resort really change you forever? 
These nine perfect strangers are about to find out. Nine people gather at a remote health resort. Some are here to lose weight. Some are here to get a reboot on life. Some are here for reasons that they can't even admit to themselves. Amid all the luxury and pampering and the mil uh, my, uh, mindfulness and med meditation, they know these, day these 10 days might involve some real work. But none of them could imagine just how challenging the next 10 days are going to be. Francis Welty, the formerly best known... Oh, okay. Sally, romantic novelist, arrives at Tranquillium House nursing a bad back, a broken heart, and an exquisitely painful paper cut. <laughs> she is immediately intrigued by her fellow guests. Most of them don't do, don't look to be in the need of a health resort at all, but the person who intrigues her most in the strange and charismatic owner-director of Tranquillium House, could this person really have the answers Francis didn't even know she was seeking? So that is the free books. Again, to get those other, my quarter library book haul, probably if I'll, I'll look at it. If I don't look at it tonight, I'll most likely look at it this coming week. It's just, it's, it's a lot. It's a lot. I'm literally relearning how to live my life. I really am. I really am. And when the time comes, you will know more. Yes, you will. Because I have many things that I have projects for that I want to do. Especially that are going to go on Patreon. Um, eventually, I would like to put together a Book of the Month Club on my Patreon channel. Books, media, I will start putting together a movie and a book. But anyway... You guys have a terrific day. I got you a little bit sooner than Monday. My starting of my day. Oh. They're the loves of your life. She's the love of mine. There's nothing she wouldn't get. <laughs> yes. There's nothing she wouldn't get. Isn't that right, kiddo? Isn't that right? Love you too. So you guys have a terrific day. Thanks for watching. I will check you guys soon. Love you all. Bye. Oh, good morning, everybody. Today is Monday. Today is Monday. I wasn't going to record today, but I decided that I'm going to record today. So a couple of things. These earbuds, my ear fun, it was my problem because I'm the consumer. Now my earbuds say that it's a wireless, they're wireless earbuds, ear fun, free pro two hybrid active noise canceling earbuds, Bluetooth 5.2 earbuds with six mics, six mics, tell M-I-C-S, to me that sounds like microphones, uh, you know, microphones, stereo, deep sound, deep bass and ear, headphones, ambient mode earphones wireless charging 3 3 30 hertz 30h so okay fine. enc features environmental noise cancellation more than 90 percent right here two wireless earbuds with one feed forward microphone one feed microphone one and one talk microphone of each wireless earbud total six mics deliver splendid vocal enhancement and reduce background noise for superior call experience does that only mean calls? You know, like phone calls or what? That's my question. That's my question to y'all. Did these earbuds work on StreamYard? That's my question. That is my question. Anyways, moving moving on. Yesterday, I, I put together a video um, of three books. One of the three that I am reading now on a continuous journey with the two other books this book I'm reading right now this book I'm reading right now I like it 
I'm not exactly sure what's going on yet in the story. She wakes up in a hospital bed and I think it's in a hospital bed and oh she's got face blindness. Right so a spine chilling propulsive psychological suspense novel from international sensation Camilla Sten. The medical term is prosopagnosia. The average person calls it face blindness. The inability to recognize a familiar person's face. When Eleanor walked in uh, on the scene of her capriciously cruel grandmother Vivian's murder, she came face to face with the killer, a maddening expression that means nothing to someone like her. With each passing day, the anxiety of having someone so close to a killer and not knowing if they'd be back overtakes both her dreams and her walk waking moments, thwarting the perception of reality. Okay, interesting. So then a lawyer calls. Vivian has left her house, a Lumi estate, tucked away in the Swedish woods, the place where her grandfather died. Suddenly, a place that has housed a chilling past for more than 50 years. Eleanor, her steadfast boyfriend, Sebastian, I like that, I like that Sebastian for a, a guy's name. Yeah, anyway, her reckless aunt, Veronica, the lawyer, all will go to the house secrets, looking for answers, but as they get close to the closer to the uncovering the truth, they wish they had never come to disturb what rests there. I'm in that book. I'm actually, in fact, what chapter am I in? And this technically doesn't have any chapters. I'm in chapter in page 30. It doesn't have any chapters. All it has is <laughs> names. And for instance, the first chapter, if you will, is called uh, Sunday, September 15th, five hours later, Eleanor. Then we uh, we move back to, to five hours and five minutes earlier, Eleanor. It, it continues to, yeah. So then this is with the serrated pages, Lily and the Octopus. I'm in, what chapter am I in? This doesn't have chapters either. Nope. It doesn't. It just call. It just says Friday evening. Yeah, and this is a cute book. It's a cute book. So it's about this one guy named Ted and his baby baby girl named Lily, like my baby girl named Cass. So so Lily and the Octopus reminds us how it feels to love fiercely, how to di how difficult it can be to let go, and how. The fight for love, those we love in the greatest fight of all. And then last but not least, I'm reading this one along with, um, after I get done with these three books, I don't know if I have enough room on, on Goodreads to put, add, add this book or not, but if I do, I'll add to it. Um, because on Saturday I took back that one book, um, good Lord, what is that book? Tell me everything. That's the one book that I put back. It was due back on Saturday, and I think I'm number 30 on the audio side of it. And I'm like, well, I'm hoping the audio book is a hell of a lot better. I mean, not to say that reading the book wasn't good. It was. I, there's not enough time. Anyhow, this book, you know, reading the inside of it started making me tear up. If you don't believe me, rewind. Yeah, rewind. Because last night I was going into this a little bit. And I got into page, chapter 7. So, yeah, I'm reading that. I'm doing my, my French lessons. I'm getting more progressed with piano last night i i actually watched sing two sing one you know sing one and sing two in my opinion sick sick wow sing two is a waste of money i like the you know the songs and everything but you know sing one the first thing is that's all you really need that's all you really need. You don't need any anymore. Kind of like the the speed with Sandra Bullock in it and Keanu Reeves. All you needed is speed. The first speed. You didn't need the second one. No, you didn't need it. So I wasted six bucks. Well, you're gonna help with a hell of a lot more in your lifetime than just six dollars. But yeah, 
and I'm still learning my French. It tells me it, it takes three hours to read the book Finding Grace. It's another, oh, and uh, by the way, I also got, there we go. I, I'm also getting this. It happens to be, um, what is it? One of those extender things for your baby girl or for my baby girl. Uh, it's 26 feet. It's up to 110 pounds for, for your, for your companion. For the people that subscribe me to my channel, thank you. You know who you are. Thank you. And the person, people that are looking at my shorts, I did, you know, my short videos. I, I'm doing this because, you know what? Why not? Why not? And if you want to, if you want to put your thumbs down at me for whatever reason, have at it. Have fun. And I'm not going to do, do this like I've been doing it. So, this video. Google 5, a phone plan by Google with our flexible plan. This video, this video right here, it has over 9,000 views now. All I do is, yeah, over 9,000, believe it or not. A current client, all I have to do is look up their name, but I would like it to be. <laughs> Things were a lot different three years ago. That really is a lot different. But anyway, enough of me reminiscing, right? Shut up, Kel. Get on with it. That's it. I'll see you next time. Have a great day, y'all. Bye. Mm. Well, good morning, everybody. Today is Friday. Today is the second to last day of April. Um, a couple things on the front. Let there be light. Let there be light. I know. I can't see. <laughs> That's okay. The Lord never intended me to have a professional career in singing. <laughs> well, good morning, everybody. Today's Friday. Today is the 29th, two days before the end of May. So, anyways, a couple, <coughs> a couple things on the front. Number one, this book I'm still in. I I'm still in. Chapter Eleanor. Sorry, I didn't want to mess it up. So, yep, I'm still in Chapter Eleanor right now. I haven't run anything at all this week, except maybe Monday. Yeah, Monday I read some, some, but otherwise last night I was dealing with a headache. I have been playing more piano. And last night, I actually bought a cello, and if I actually screenshotted it, uh, it'll be right up here, somewhere. The cello features a crack-proof spruce top with maple back, neck, and sides, a beautiful high luster varnish finish, maple pegs and fingerboard, and an alloy tailpiece with four built-in fine tuners. It comes with a Brazil wood bow with genuine unbleached horsehair, an extra set of strings, rosin, and a free cello stand. It is available with a padded soft carrying case, or you can add on a lightweight hard shell case. And it sounds like this. I wanted the cello. And the reason why I wanted the cello, I want to play, I learned how to play it, is because it's so, it's very similar to the piano it really is and then i actually downloaded i think it's called cello coach i think it is you guys come and see the live show it's one of those things that you put on the t on the rear view mirror and you know it has a 360 ba base where you can swivel it so you know whenever i go on for journeys or go for rides or whatnot with baby girl you're gonna come along you are you are yes uh, on top of which, not much else is going on. I keep on downloading books from Free Books, see? And you'll see that a segment coming soon. I learned how to um, screen record on my device. Thank you to the per gentleman that that showed me on, on YouTube. Didn't show me literally, but showed his audience. So thank you. Thank you for, for doing that. Because, you know, 
I'm le learning every day how much more I can do with this phone. Isn't that nice? I think so too. So anyway, um, it's not going to be a very long video today. So I want you guys all to enjoy your day, enjoy your weekend. Uh, if you're in my area, you're you're going to be dealing with cold weather yet. Just the way it is. But anyway, you guys take care of yourselves. You take care of your family, loved ones, and your four-legged creatures. I will see you next week. And for the people that come tomorrow, I will see you tomorrow. If you want to join, the link is at the bottom of in the description in the, of this video. So I'll see you tomorrow. Take care, everybody. Love y'all. Enjoy your night. Enjoy your whole day in fact. Bye.